Welcome back to the Colorado Buffaloes. As you can see, we are in a bowl game. We are number four in the nation. We went to the Holiday Bowl against Utah State. I couldn't be more disappointed, quite frankly, in where we ended up in the bowl games. Here is how we finished the season. We smashed Arizona State, who finished the season eight and four. So this was a great win. Our defense played fantastic. Our offense played fantastic. Um, just good all around win. We ran the ball really well. We threw the ball really well. Uh, in the second half, I was I was kind of just playing around. I think it was 35-3 at half or 28-3 at half. Yeah, 28-3, and then I scored on the first drive uh, of the second half, I believe. Um, and then I was just kind of messing around, trying new plays and things. Uh, yeah, that was a beat down. And then it was a little more dicey in the Utah game. We were pretty much in control the whole game. Uh, they made it close late, brought it within five, and then we got a field goal right at the death and, uh, and won it by eight in a rivalry game. They didn't have a good year, but uh, they were actually better than us ratings-wise, so um, not a bad win there. And the other big news, you know I've been trying for this all season long. And it happened. It happened. Bernard Wright, our junior kicker, Lou Groza Award, first team All-American, well-deserved, well-deserved, son. Absolutely terrific season. I didn't even look if we had anybody else. Nice. Second team All-America, John Williams, the senior. That's good to see. He had a good year. All Pac-12. Let's see if we had anybody. Yeah, there we go. John Williams. Love it. And obviously, my kicker and my punter. Yes, my special team's coming through. And on the second team, Luke McFadden deserved. Missed the last uh, two and a half games, but great season for him. Bennett, my right end. Freshman. True freshman. Remember, I moved him from outside linebacker to D-end. Second team all-conference. That's a future All-American right there, boys. That is how we do it. All right. Recruiting hasn't changed much. We've gotten all the guys, so we'll, we'll just go check it out again on signing day. Not really a lot going on. Let's get to the Holiday Bowl. Let's smash Utah State, and then we'll do the coaching carousel. You never know what can come. You never know what can come. Let's get to the Holiday Bowl. Welcome to lovely San Diego, California. It's the site of the Bridgeport Holiday Bowl. The Colorado Buffaloes, number four in the nation, taking on the unranked Utah State Aggies. It looks like a mismatch on paper, and let's hope it is. We're getting the ball first. Let's go pound these guys, get back to Boulder with a win. little business trip action here, boys, and uh, head into next season with 10 wins under our belts. Daniels is back, as you see, so we'll get him a little bit of... Game time, headed into next season, see what he's got. Dickens played really well, so it's not guaranteed that Daniels is going to have the job uh, going into next season. So he needs to have a good game today. Not a good first carry. Great first throw from Gilbert. What a freshman season he's had. Um, pleased we started him. It was a controversial decision. You should have seen how I got bashed in the Boulder press, but um, uh, and even the national press, really. But just an incredible, incredible job from him. Incredibly pleased. Uh, and and um, look forward to three more, three more outstanding years with Gilbert at the helm of this program. I think we're in good hands for the next three years. As long as he doesn't go pro early, that would, that would not be great. We got to catch that ball there. Brigham has had an outstanding year outstanding year but he's got to catch that ball right there third and six from the 43 there it is Abrams first down I really just want to make quick work of these guys and get out of here I uh I got some more work to do tonight <laughs> yeah I'm procrastinating um so I just want to make quick work of these guys, get to the coaching carousel. I, I like to have a sense of 
I don't want to say finality, but I like to know where I'm going to be next year before I, uh, you know, before I, like, quit for the night. If it's late at night, like, during the day, I can quit in the middle of a season. But if it's late at night and I'm going to go to bed in a bit, I need to know where I'm going to be or I can't sleep. It's it's debilitating, especially when these things don't actually really matter. But, you know, I am who I am. Second and six from the 28. We'll go play action. We know it's worked well this year. I ran it a couple times against Utah, and Gilbert had a, a couple really nice runs. So hopefully we can keep that up. Yeah, I'm just going to run it. I'm just going to run it. Slide down. Slide, you dummy. Don't dive. Slide. Goodness, Gilbert. See, now you're orange, whereas if you slid, you'd be green, maybe yellow. Ugh, these freshmen, am I right? Hopefully the uh, picture is better on this one than the last one. It, uh, like I said, it didn't white balance properly last time. It looks like it's much better, though, much crisper. I feel like, I mean, obviously, having a capture thing would uh, would make it look better, but you can see it. It's not dreadful, and... Um, I don't have to spend money I don't have, and um, and that's the key here. So I've been pleased with how it's turned out, and I know it's probably unprofessional, but my my channel was never meant to be like a gaming channel. It's it's a fantasy channel, uh, probably some soccer at some point, and and some college hoops. So it was never meant to be a gaming channel. I'm just doing this for a bit of fun, so I'm not you know embarrassed or anything that it doesn't look great uh, I'd like for it to and someday if I'm making more money I will definitely get a capture card and uh, and do it properly but for the moment uh, it's just not not a wise use of my resources field goal on the first drive not great really should have had a touchdown Gonna get the ball back though at our own five, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna start with clear out actually. I want I want Abrams deep. I actually want to flip this, and I want Jennings on the deep ball here. I want Jennings for a 95-yard touchdown. Might just run it. He wasn't gonna be open. Thought I'd just get out of there and run it with Gilbert. That's what he provides, and I love it. Second and two from the 14. We'll go power o right side. A rarity for us. It's good numbers. Good numbers. But man, if we could block that guy backside, Daniel's probably still running. Mmm. 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 Jennings, first down, first down. She got to take that first down. All right, so let's talk coaching carousel. So I'll do the same thing I did because I'm out of contract here, but I, I imagine I'll be offered a new contract. We're number four in the nation. Um, so, but, you know, I, I like to keep it realistic, and, like, realistically, it wouldn't be you know, come like in order like that. So what I like to do is save it and go through the coaching carousel and just reject Colorado. And if there's another job, obviously take it that I want. But, you know, if there's none, then I just quit out and, and come back and, and take the Colorado gig because that, that's just more realistic to me. Uh, but let's talk about jobs that we would take. So, right off the bat, I would take Ole Miss and I would take Michigan 100%. 100% I'd take those two. Those are probably the two that are a hundo for me. Other ones, um, you've got Clemson is really, really bad. Like a two-win team this year. Um, I know people are probably like sick of Clemson in real life though, so I'm hesitant to take that one. 
I'm really hesitant to take that one. Nobody was open on that play. Goodness. But they're so bad in this, and that would be a fun rebuild to, to bring Clemson back. Miami is mediocre. Uh, that would be a fun one, but I saw some mildly famous YouTuber just did Miami uh, in the near recent past, so I'm also hesitant to do that because I imagine there's a lot of crossover and who watches uh, college football content. I mean, nobody's, you know, I don't know if anybody's watching this, but, <laughs> but um, you know, if there is any crossover, like, I don't, I don't want to make people like, oh, he's doing Miami also, so we'll see. But certainly Ole Miss and Michigan are 100% stone cold would, would take those jobs. Otherwise, Washington, I think I would go to Washington. I'd definitely consider it. Uh, it would be a decision. Oregon, obviously, as well. But they're, like, number two, so I don't see their coach leaving or getting fired. Um, Auburn, I, I think I would do Auburn. I'd like to do Tennessee, but I'm not going to because uh, Barstool Big Cat is doing his big thing right now, and he just won the Natty with uh, with Tennessee. So I don't want to. If people, you know, from that come over, I don't want them to be like, "Oh, I just watched four seasons of Tennessee. I don't need to watch more." Who else? Uh, Wisconsin, I would consider. Nebraska, I was thinking about, would be a lot of fun. It'd be controversial going from Colorado to Nebraska. But I've wanted Nebraska to kind of be back for a long time. Their fans are so great. Uh, it's such like a storied institution, and there's like nothing else in Nebraska. So I feel like their college football program needs to be good. So, um, you know, that state kind of has something going on. See, they weren't even ranked. They beat Toledo by 12 in a bowl game. Um, so Nebraska, I think, would be a lot of fun. But, yeah, we'll see. Coming up next. Good patience. I want Abrams to get a touchdown today. It's his final game. He's been a great servant to the program. Uh, having a good game. Having a good game. But I want him to get a touchdown. That, that should have been it. But couldn't quite get there. I love our team coming back next year, though. I mean, we return almost everybody on offense and quite a few guys on defense. We return everybody but Abrams on offense and McFadden, obviously. And then on defense, we return most guys, and the guys that are leaving are generally at least slightly replaceable, except the, the D-tackle, John Williams, who was a second-team All-America. He actually is going to be very difficult to replace, so... Ah, come on, D. There we go. <laughs> they tried a 59-yard field goal. Oh, that was the other thing. In the Arizona State game, near the end of the game, I just needed to get a sense of Wright's range. I tried from 62. There was a slight right-to-left wind, two miles an hour, so nothing substantial. And um, 62 hit the crossbar and bounced out. So from 60 with no wind in his face, y'all, I think he's good. I think he's good from there. So next year, we are basically hit midfield, and we are damn close to field goal range. So that's huge. Oh, he fumbled. Brigham, Johnny on the spot. Gilbert got popped on that play. I hope he's okay. Gilbert got absolutely hammered. First down at the 42. There we go, Daniels. Look at that strength. A little bit of strength. Three yards. It's a good run. I like what I'm seeing from him today. Not spectacular, but he's been hurt all season. You know, he can't just come back and turn it on like that. That's unrealistic. So, But I like what I'm seeing. There's Abrams. Oh, he almost got a touchdown again. So close. I feel like this is the time to try to get him one. 
I don't like throwing down here, but I mean, this really feels like the time, right? I want to go three by one and get him on a slant. That's what we need. That's our best bet, I think. Get a little bunch, him on a slant. Oh, catch it! Catch it. We're going to go to him again. We're going to go to him again. I need to be slightly more patient there. Um, we're going to go here. But I'm going to try and bring Brigham in motion. Can I? Yes. No. Okay. We're going to send Abrams on an out. We're going to send Brigham on a drag. Oh, he's there. Oh, no, Gilbert. You can't throw on the run. Why are you so bad at throwing on the run? <sighs> One more time. One more time. We're going to go back to that bunch. I liked the slant. It was there. I just had to be more patient. Let him beat his defender. Got to be more patient. There it is. There it is. He got it. He got it. Abrams with the touchdown. A deserved touchdown in the final game of his career. I'm glad we were able to do it for him. That's great. That's great. Jermaine Abrams, two-yard touchdown, 100-yard game in the first half of the final game of his career. Chuffed for that guy. And, uh, yeah, just uh, what a... What a servant to this program, the quality that he brought, uh, hard worker, day in, day out, willing to help the younger guys. That's the kind of player we want in this program, and uh, he led by example. Tough, tough time for him, you know, coaching change midway through his stint here. What? Oh, he caught that. Coaching change midway through his stint, but he... He came out, he never whined about it, and he just got on with it, and well, goodness, guys, can't give me another half second, huh? Oh my gosh, he cannot throw on the run. I don't know why I keep trying to throw on the run. He can't do it. He, he's just incapable. He's just incapable. We picked it off. We picked it off in the end zone. I love it. I love this defense. I love what we built with the recruiting. That is how you do it. I love what we built on the recruiting trail with this defense. Absolutely terrific. We're going to run it here, actually. Daniels. Daniels, nice run. Nice run. First down. We're going to go hurry up. We're going to go same play. Same play. Why not? Oh, I want to send Jennings deep. One-on-one -on -one out there. Oh, my gosh. I seriously thought that was the ref. I'm not joking. I, I honestly thought 66 was the ref. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, no, I'm shook. I honestly thought that guy was the ref. I saw him. I just thought he was the ref. Good run, Daniels. That's two great runs on this drive. That's two great runs on this drive. Oh, shoot. Well, I'll take five there. Get a timeout. I'm sure Gilbert's exhausted because he ran 30 yards. No, he's fine. Man, at the end of the Oklahoma State game, he was exhausted after every play. And he wasn't really getting... He got hit on one play. And for the rest of the, the drive, he was truly just wiped. 
and it was very frustrating. It gave us no chance to go down and win that game. First down, let's push the tempo. 15 seconds, two timeouts. We got three more plays if we do this right. Three more plays if we do this right. Stop getting our guy hurt. Block somebody. You're getting our freaking quarterback hurt every game because y'all can't block. Ridiculous. They can't block for this guy either. Block somebody. The hell, man. We'll run it. Just try and get a field goal. There we go. There we go. Sets it up nicely. Man. I wish we could block. We had guys open on those plays. Definitely the second one. They got a guy back deep. Like, this is going to come up short. He's the Lou Groza winner, dude. <laughs> Another one I did consider was Minnesota. They haven't won a game in two years. And I just kind of feel bad for them. Just kind of feel bad for them. So, you know, that would be that would be just a fascinating challenge. Twenty to seven, first down from the thirty seven. Ah. Uh, I want a triangle to run downfield and steady rain back towards me and then back to the middle when I'm rolling right like a total moron. Second and ten. Third and eleven. Great. We're not really blocking today, are we? We're not really blocking today. I've been taking a day off. Spent too long on the beach yesterday. There it is. There it is, Dickerson. Dickerson's finally catching the ball again after that midseason slump. Also nice to see uh, our boy back in there, Mr. Gilbert, after our line tried to get him hurt at the end of the first half. You think the line, uh, or he uh, said something bad about the line, the way they're blocking for him today. Who knows what came out of the media? I wasn't reading the papers this week. I was too focused. Too focused on getting this win. So, I'm above it all. There's Jennings. There's Ronnie Jennings. Still only a sophomore. We got two more years of this legend. He's going to be the best receiver in school history by the time we're done. Book it. Oh, wow. That D lineman dropped. He looked like he was coming, then he dropped. He should have picked it. I didn't see him. Oh, I didn't see him. He should have picked it. Michigan's going to finish the season unranked. That's a fireable offense. That's a fireable offense. I would throw it to Triangle, but you know he can't throw on the run. You know he can't throw on the run. Heck of a run, though. Wish I could have thrown to Triangle, because it was probably a touchdown, but... Oh, he got hurt. I gotta just run out of bounds there. I know how frail the quarterbacks are. I gotta just run out of bounds. See if Daniels can punch it in. He can't. He can't because we just didn't block the guy off the edge. Got two guys standing there watching him. Standing there watching him. Okay, he's back in. I imagine he was just tired and had to come out for a play. That's okay. I'll allow it. It was a nice run. 
There it is. There it is. Had to get Dickens in there. Had to get Dickens in there. Uh, we won't go for two yet or anything, because I feel like we're going to score more points in this one, so. What a boring bowl, man. You're number four in the nation. You end up in the Holiday Bowl against Utah State. I understand it's because I changed up the Big 12, uh, and this is a Big 12 bowl, but, ugh. Like, how disappointing. <laughs> After such a good season, to end up in the Holiday Bowl against Utah State, this couldn't have been worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's on me, that's on me, whatever, whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought about Penn State too, but my girlfriend went to Michigan and just hates Penn State so much, not that she's even watching, but... Even if I had to tell her that I took the Penn State job, it would not go down well, so. Best not to. Best not to. I took both safeties, but my guys, I, they were running too long routes. I couldn't. I had enough time. Um. Great job by the defense, by the way, to hold them to a field goal after that pick. That was huge. Jennings. Jennings, he might go. He might go. He might go. He will go. He will go. There's the legend, Ronnie Jennings. It was supposed to be a curl, but he just kept right on going, reminding me of Johnny Manziel to Mike Evans' 95 yards over Alabama. It was uh, third and nine from our own five, and Evans was supposed to be running a curl, but he beat, who was it off the line? Who was their corner? I forget. He got abused all day by Mike. Mike Evans had, I think, 287 receiving yards in that game or something just absurd. Uh, beat him off the line uh, and just went deep, stuck up his hand. Johnny put it perfectly over his shoulder, 95 yards, lost my mind my buddy Sam I'm fairly certain he kicked a little kid in the face uh, but I, I'm, I don't even think the kid cared the kid was pumped too he was jumping around somebody's leg hit the kid in the face was it Sam I don't know I don't know I can't say for certain in our stupor but but uh, it his Sam's leg was in and around the vicinity of that kid's face when it got hit, so. But the kid didn't care. The dad didn't care. Everyone was just losing their minds. We still lost, but that that's one of my favorite moments. That might be my favorite moment in the Aggie game. Second, second probably. Uh, first was when Jamar Toombs dra drug, dragged, drug? like seven Oklahoma Sooners into the end zone when they were number one it was a maroon out day oh that game we lost <laughs> all, all my great Aggie stories end in the Aggies losing if that tells you anything that's par for the course it's a sad life y'all it's a sad life rewarding when they're good though I'll tell you that Tell you that. They're never really good, though. That's the problem. Nice. First and 10. 6.28 to go. I think if we score here and get a stop, I will just sim to the end so we can get to the coaching carousel. And I can go get my butt to work, because that is what I need to do, or else I'm going to be up till 8 a.m. probably. It's uh, it's 4:15 right now, and I still have at least two and a half hours of work to do, so <laughs> I should probably get to it. Should probably get to it. Oh, there it is. Nice, nice. Brigham, stay in bounds, you. Bumbling idiot. Oaf. 
Look how tired my quarterback is just from running outside the pocket. That's so unrealistic. I played quarterback, and I can tell you. I ran the ball. Eight plays in a row, and it was fine. Where are we at? Field goal time? Field goal time. 59. 59. No problem. Knock it in. Lou Groza award winner. Brendan Wright. <laughs> 59. Like it's nothing. Man, he should be he should be a Janikowski style first round pick. I'm just saying. I don't think it's unreasonable that you would take this guy number one overall when he comes out next year. I swear if he comes out this year, I will take another job. I'll quit on the spot. He's the only reason I'm staying. What a catch, but he was out of bounds. What a catch that was. All right, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go deep to Abrams on one play. One play. And then, no matter what, no matter what, we're, this ball is going to Abrams deep. And then we're going to sim the rest. He was gonna get it. Oh, I thought he. Oh, we gotta do it one more time. We gotta do it one more time. Come on, come on. We have to do it one more time. Yeah, same play, same play. Oh, I thought he had the touchdown. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, this is picked. Crap on a cracker. Throw it too far. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought he had that one. We'll just sim. Just skip ahead, next change of possession, see what they do. Long drive, but I think we're okay. He missed a field goal? Of course he did, stupid computer. Alright, we're good. We're good. 44 21 final. That is what I'm talking about. That's how you go in and you destroy an opponent in the Holiday Bowl. They weren't very good, to be fair. That, they were almost as good as us. Ratings wise, but you have to be better than us if you're going to beat us. Unless you're Texas Tech, and then anything goes. There you have it. Now, well, let's look at uh, Abrams in his final game. Abrams in his final game. Daniels was okay. It's going to be tough between he and Dickens. It's going to be a tough uh, battle next year for that starting spot. They'll both be in there quite a bit, though, so I'm not worried about it. Abrams in his final game, 12 for 154. And a touchdown. I love it. I love it. Well done, Jermaine. Thank you for your service to this program. You were incredible. And Ronnie Jennings. Shh. Monster. There you have it. Let's get to the coaching carousel. All right. Here we are at the coaching carousel. It is saved. So this first time around, we will reject the Colorado job and uh, see what all is out there. But I, I don't think there will be anything we take. Um... So we'll just end up accepting the Colorado job, but you never know. Let us get started. Yeah, see, we're second. That's funny. South Carolina's not even going to offer me the job. I wouldn't have taken it, but... Yeah, rejecting, but not really, you know what I mean? I'm not going to Ohio State. Oh, they didn't even offer me. Michigan, you losers. You're keeping that guy around. He sucked. He sucked. Bama. Bama. Why are these people not offering me? Are they fools? Georgia, they are very good. I think I'd take Notre Dame. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all, the U has offered me four-year contract. Four-year contract. Four-year contract. Oh, my grandpa would be so proud. 
Miami has offered me. I could live in Florida. I don't I wouldn't love it, but no state income tax, always a win. Just build a bunker for the hurricane. The literal hurricanes, not the Miami hurricane. Win 10 games this season. What are my big fail thing? Oh, that's easy. Each season? The ACC's down, but that's still pretty tough. I need to look at the roster. Let's say I can do that. I can do that. Okay. These all seem reasonable except that one. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because you don't know how the how everybody else is going to shake up. Especially in a 16-team conference. That's tough. Yeah, he's leaving. Of course he is. They got decent guys, though. Freshman. Speed. I like that. He's He's quite good. He's quite good, Ron Salas. Running backs are garbage. Tell me you redshirted this guy, for goodness sake. Probably didn't, though. Why does everyone have two fullbacks? Nah, he's graduating. I'm glad. They better be bringing some receivers in. Y'all, how do I not take this? It's the U. My papa played there. My papa played there. My mom was born there. My grandma went there. How do I not take this? All right, here's what's going to happen. We're going to do the same thing. It's just more realistic to be able to see everything that's out there. So we're, we're going to do the same thing, and then we'll come back, and, and we'll see afterwards. But it's just it's incredibly more realistic to be able to see everything that's out there first. And, and I, that's the way I prefer to do it. Um, because it's just... It's so much more realistic, and I prefer that. So That's the way we're going to do it. Deal with it. I don't think there's going to be any jobs anyway. Yeah, going to go to North Texas. North Carolina. They don't even want me, losers. Purdue. Purdue could be quite fun. I think I'd go to Miami over Purdue. They only offer me a three-year contract anyway, losers. Losers. UCSA didn't even offer me the head coaching job, nor Louisville. What is wrong with these people? I just finished... Top five. I didn't actually see where we ended. I think that's going to be just about it in terms of head coaching gigs. I'm not going to Arkansas. Obviously not going there. Head coach at ASU wouldn't take it. Head coach at West Virginia. We've turned that down before. I go to Miami, I think, before I went to WVU. Not going to Duke. Not going to FAU, obviously. Not going to Iowa State. No. Kentucky's always interesting, but they didn't even offer me. Whatever. Nebraska head coach or what? Defensive coordinator. I would have gone there, I think. If you couldn't tell by the excitement in my voice. Now I think we're going to quit out. 
I've never really played with Miami. I've never really played with Miami. And um, it just feels like just feels like that's where I need to be. Just feels like that's where I need to be. Get out of here with Florida State. So we're going to quit out. I'm going to exit. Now I'm just going to quit the game just in case it's saved. We'll be back in a sec and we will probably take the Miami job. But we'll see. I'm still thinking. Alright, welcome back. Um, I just thought of so many better ideas of how they could have done this. Like, you know, you're, all the jobs are out there and it shows like who's vying for each and you can have like a, like almost like a screen with like emails over here on the left and you're like reading those and you can like go do interviews with a team uh, like I don't know if you ever played football manager but that's how they do it in this kind of aspect and um, it's really really great how they do how they do that so that would have been cool but whatever Michigan blew it should have hired me. Failed miserably. Now I'm going to go win some natties at the University of Miami. This is this is where I was meant to be. This is a God thing. This is a God thing. This is, um, this is where I was meant to be. It's where my papa played. It's where my mama was born. My grandma went. We're going to the U, boys. We're going to the U. We had to do it. Had to do it. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Four-year deal shows they have faith in me. They have faith in me. And that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. We are the newest head coach at the University of Miami. I am chuffed about this. Oh, I couldn't be more pleased. Oh, my goodness. We are going to dominate the ACC. It's going to be terrifying. It is going to be absolutely terrifying for these people. 7-7. Seven and seven. We'll never finish 7-7 seven and seven ever again. Ever again. It is never going to happen. We will never not have a winning record under my reign here at Miami. You can take that to the bank. We're going to play some sweet non-conference games as well. We don't have a Colorado State game that we have to play every year now out of conference because Florida State is in conference. So it's going to be great. There you have it. We're at the U. Next episode, signing day, rosters, schedule, first game of the new season with the new team. Welcome to Miami. Let's get to work. It's all about the U. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.